smoke just went viral. Rice roll full of baby in the sky. What's up, my friends? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Hunter. Welcome back to the Tattoo Parlor. And today we're going to be uh, unboxing and reviewing a, a brand new figure I just picked up, which is going to be Series 75 Elite Collection WWE Mattel's Pete Dunn. Uh, I really enjoy watching him wrestle. Him and uh, Matt Riddle, their bro team that they have together, Broser Weights, I think they're amazing. And uh, I think Mattel's been knocking it out of the park for a long time now with these uh, this Elite line, especially with the True FX face sculpt. So I was very happy to get him eventually. Uh, finally, he's very hard to find for whatever reason. I still want to pick up, I think it's a Series 63 or 64, the, the first Pete Dunne, which has a little more brown in his uh, vest. But this one, I mean, with the title belt, it's quite incredible. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the box before I open it. So at the top, you got the WWE logo up here to the right. The left, you got the little Mattel, white Mattel logo. You got the True FX logo. It says Zero Series 75. Then you got a good shot of Pete Dunne looking real brooding. And then, of course, the Elite Collection logo on the side. The other side's another shot of him just kind of stands staring off. Here's a little bio on him. It says he's from Birmingham, England. He weighs 205 pounds. He's five foot 10. So, you know, he's average height. He's not real tall. I like that about him. And here's a little run on him with his 685 day long UK title reign on the line at NX Takeover New York against Walter. The bruiser, the bros, bruiser weight fought until the bitter end. And uh, here's the wave that he comes with, which looks great. Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Pete Dunne, Kalisto, The Hurricane, and Mandy Rose. I've actually seen them all, and uh, I'm interested in all of these to pick up. I've seen them in, in person, but I've only picked up Pete Dunne so far. I do need to go back and get these other figures, which are great. I want to get Mandy Rose as well, because when the Heavy Machinery tag team comes out with Otis, I would like to pit, pick them up and put them all together in a display. So anyway, having said that, I'll go ahead and stop uh, dragging on my uh, little speech there. And we're going to go ahead and cut this open. And we'll pull this gentleman right on out. And I already tore the box up, so there's no saving it. <laughs> All right, so out of the box. Here he is in the blister here, looking mighty dapper. So I've got a little cool piece of plastic there to hold its shape. I love this kind of furry texture and soft plastic that the vest comes with. There's his little logo in the back. This is very pliable. I think it'll look really good on him. All right, I apologize for the plastic sounds. So we have two separate sets of uh, pants here, which is uh, that one's gonna be difficult. Okay, so we gotta, so you can basically go both fists left and right, or you can do a left fist or a right fist with an open left hand and an open right hand. It's up to you. They give you all the options here, which is great. Here's the other one I was having a difficulty getting in, so you can see the difference. This one's kind of gripping hand and then you got a punching hand so it's good options there for display purposes let's go ahead and get them out of the plastic here all right sorry about that so he feels really solid i can already tell all the extremities feel really good there's the detail on the knee tattoo he has uh, i love the way he's holding it the belt here, I'm gonna take it off for now. Let's take a look at the belt really quick. It's gorgeous, look at that, how shiny it is. So it says United Kingdom Champion. You got the WW logos on both ends. The plastic here, the belt part, has a beautiful uh, sculpted texture to make it look leather. They did a really good job with this belt. Let's take a look at him. So, hair looks really good for just being hard plastic. There's not a lot of movement to it. 
but you still get quite a bit of articulation with the head. It is on a ball. So moving to the sides, you get some because it's shaved over here, so this is not in the way. But he, you do have some pretty good movement with the head, as you can see. The sculpt on the head, is the face is amazing. He even has his mouthpiece in. I think they did a really good job with that. It looks really lifelike. They did a really good job. I like the beard. I like the ears. I like the wrinkles in the skin. Just nicely detailed. He looks a little thinner to me. <laughs> on this toy he has been losing weight but he was a little little heavier guy uh so anyway uh we get full rotation here on the arm uh we do have the bicep cut up here so we can do a lot of really good movement there we have uh unfortunately you see the pin that's just a mattel flaw and it's single single elbow which is not my favorite but you know it's okay now as you see the hands we can take these off and they are a hinged peg, so you get that full rotation, you get that bend, you can do a, almost anything with a hinged peg. You see they go right back on just as easy. He has the painted on uh, little wrist pad there. That actually kind of, you could tell it's painted. That's I wish it was a little more sculpt to it, but it is what it is. He has the abdominal crunch. You don't get much with the frontwards. That's all it goes, it's like basically nothing. The back, not much either. So, and you also get that swivel at the waist. Uh, out, uniform is gorgeous. Uniform is gorgeous. I love the gold paint on both sides. I think they did a really good job with that. I like his outfit. It's just painted on. You don't feel, well actually no, this uh, cut here is actually sculpted on so you can feel it. That's well done, I'm very happy with that. Upper legs is on a ball, so you can get quite a bit of movement out of it. Very flexible. Uh, the upper thigh, there's a cut there to the upper thigh, so you can get pivot there, you can get swivel. Double knee, pins are showing, but the double knee is great. The pins are ugly. And also you got that, uh, you can get lean on the legs. It actually moves both sides, both ways. And up and down so very cool very well done let's see how he looks here if we can get this how easy it is to get the belt on <laughs> so well it didn't stick so you got to get four pins in the belt holes to make it stay which is not too bad let's see if I can try one more time So maybe uh, if I use something to push it in a little better like that, that works good. It did. It fell out again, and this plate came off the belt, so that might be an issue, an ongoing issue. But yeah, I think when you go to take the put the belt on, it may pop off the little plates. But he looks good like that. Let me go ahead and uh, put this back. Let's use the knife here. Practice knife safety, don't cut yourself. <laughs> okay, so anyway, next thing I wanted to do is try on this uh, vest and see what he looks like in it. So I can kind of figure out how I wanna pose him. The good thing is the hair, you can lift up on it and put the hair over. So let's see here. There we go. Oop, and I got the hair under, just like I said, I didn't want to do. Okay. So that wasn't hard at all, actually. He looks really good with this, with this vest on. I'm really into that, that's nice. And then I'm gonna put his belt here, just like they had it. I'm gonna put it under the hair to help kind of hold it down, and then his arm. So let me see. There's the pose of him. Sorry, I kind of took a while to, I don't have fingernails. <laughs> so that's gonna be the Pete Dunn. I think uh, they did a really good job. Mattel overall did a good job. There's a few things that I don't care for. The pins, you know, that may just be my gripe. I hear some people don't like seeing the pins either. 
because you know that they can cover those pins if they wanted. Uh, of course, they only do the single elbow, which is fine. But when, you re when you're collecting wrestlers, a lot of times you want to pose them in wrestling maneuvers, which the more... Uh, the more agile they are, like in real life, the more you want to be able to really pose them as far as their toys are concerned. But, uh, you know, overall, he's amazing. I'm just happy to have him. I kind of wanted to keep the box in one piece, <laughs> but I tore it apart, which is okay. I've got a character I've really wanted in my uh, wrestling lineup for quite a while now, so I can't complain. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. This again is Series 75, WWE Mattel Elite, Pete Dunn. And uh, never give up that hunt, guys. Pew, 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 pew. Peace. Y'all take care. Yeah.